All right. Not quite boxers. Oh, my legs are so tired. This is my first stream since I pinched a nerve in my neck two weeks ago or so. Is my sound on? Let me just, testing, one, two, yeah. And uh, yesterday was my first squat day since then. I went up to 315 plus 20, so 335, did a set of two, felt pretty good. Anyways, so that's, a, that's, that's a name there, at least uh, we all know what you're all about. Show feet 669, I imagine show feet 69 is probably taken. I'm just warming up. I want to spend some time on my bike. Not a lot, five minutes or so. Just to get my legs working from yesterday. That'll help with the recovery, get some blood pumping through. I will open up chat on my phone if I remember to do this. Whispers. All right. I'm having a hard time getting in here. And I just got chat, but it was one second too late. Yeah. not something that does anything for me, but each of their own. I'm also regretting not wearing socks right now because the cleats on this uh, bike are digging into my feet. So I'll spend some time on the bike warm up, just, well, more so I just get blood, blood pumping through my legs. Today was pretty rough. Um, so yesterday was my leg day, two hours. Um, and then today I was on my feet 
outside wearing boots that uh, damn near go up to my knee. And uh, the cold just sapped my energy out of me. I got hard hat hair right now. I should probably turn on a fan before I heat up my apartment. I'm a heat box. It's been uh, a couple of weeks where I've just been laxing a little bit on my training after getting injured. But even worse, I've been uh, laxing on my diet a little bit uh, fatter than I was three weeks ago. But that doesn't bother me. I'll uh, burn it off when I get around to it. It's just uh, got to be consistent with whatever I'm doing. And I had my fun being uh, lazy, playing video games in the off time, but trying to get right back into it. My legs are sore. Yeah, so I'll go on the bike for a bit. And then I just want to really grab some dumbbells. I haven't done any pull-ups since my injury. Um, I can't do bench. So I can't do bench, I can't do pull-ups. Jesus, I'm not going to last very long just because it's getting really hot right here. I'm hot. I'm uncomfortable. I'm calling it quits. That was a short warm-up, but... Oh... I getting a little bit more fat right here. Oh. All right.
I didn't include my regular blurb about how uh, I have music playing in the background and it is being filtered by my computer so you guys shouldn't be able to hear it. And may dance to music that you can't hear. Oh. I'm also very thirsty. I was drinking this uh, some diet, I don't know what this is, cran pomegranate. It's making me more thirsty. Oh. Long day. My fingers have, have had it a little bit. They're really dry and it's uncomfortable. But what's funny is I took not quite three weeks, but three weeks I was slacking, but I took two weeks off. And the tips of my fingers um, had calluses I wasn't aware of. And, and every finger peeled. So like the tips of all my fingers just peeled off. And now I was at work, I was getting my hands in snow and, and I just grabbed it when needed to, whatever needed to get grabbed. And meanwhile, it's minus 20 below. And uh, they're, what's the, they're, they're, they're scratchy. I don't like it. All right, don't back. All right. Kyle Surf, you're tending to your kittens. How many kittens do you have? I miss having kittens. Well, thanks for joining. I appreciate the view. And uh, go work with your kittens. You got two of them. Good man. I used to get, when growing up, I'd have uh, several... Litters of kittens every year, and the hard part was uh, you need to find them before they went wild. Because uh, I grew up on a farm, and uh, they get birthed in the barn, and there's tons of hay bales and lots of places for them to run and hide, and. Uh, like we had some places where the mothers would, would have their kittens in somewhere that was actually like caged off that couldn't, the kittens couldn't get away. But sometimes they just had them like up, up, in, the, up in the loft. And uh, I'd be in there throwing around hay bales trying to get to them. And uh, they'd be skittish to run away. I wonder if you can see my fingers, probably not. Yeah, you can sort of see where they peel. All my fingers, all my fingertips have started to peel. Every one. This camera doesn't quite pick them up. Thank you. All right, yeah, it's, uh, you ever watch the movie Maverick? It's got this great star, Mel Gibson. And, uh, what's the female lead's name? Well, I can't remember. She was, she was, I think she's retired recently. But, uh, 
one thing she says, so, so it's a Western where it's about playing, it's about playing cards. Um, and so the femme fatale says to Mel Gibson's character, uh, like, like, why, like, 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 about how, uh, how he's so charming and it's not fair. And he, he just responds, well, it takes a lot of effort to, oh man, I butchered that, but now I'm, now I'm going to have to go back and watch that movie. That was one of my favorite movies watching as a kid. But then again, I didn't have a lot of selection on the VHS. So my neck is doing a lot better. Uh, that pinched nerve was rough. It was, uh, I was bench pressing. I can't even remember how much. It was over 300 pounds. I think it was just 305. I think I did 305 for a set of eight. And on my eighth rep, I was pretty taxed. I went to re-rack it. And as I'm re-racking it, um, some young guy comes walking along and smacks the bar on my left side. So my right got, my, 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 my right got racked, but I didn't have enough energy to push it on. So I, ex over -ex I overextended to uh, get it back on. But people like caught it. And then I extended and got it back on and I put a lot of pressure on my neck. So my neck actually got injured. And at the time it felt like, oh, I felt something twinge in my, in my back. Um, and uh, so I, I lowered the weight and I, I, like I couldn't, like I waited a certain amount of time and tried again. I couldn't lift 135 pounds. Like you're just like, I couldn't get it off the rack. And I'm just like, okay. I'm upset now. Uh, I, I, I tried staying for an extra 10 minutes. I, I just couldn't. My body wasn't functioning. I had no strength. So I just went home. And then uh, the next day, like while it was warm, I was still okay. But the next day, um, it was like the worst pain. Like I would, I'd be fine moving. Like I could move through my, my range of motion. But I would like look to the left. And suddenly it just like, like a huge tearing pain in my, like, it felt like my rhomboids were about to rip off the bone. Um, like, it, like it felt like the most tearing you can, you can imagine. And I, I was like, like, oh no, like, did I injure my, my, like, like, is this thing just barely connected to my bone right now? Is it about to pop off? And so for a while I was, I was worried until I went to the, I went uh, and got diagnosed and there's nothing with the muscles. That was all nerve pain. And very painful, but I was just happy. Like I wasn't, uh, I didn't actually rip anything. It just, it just felt like I did. You kind of feel bad mentioning the giant slash tiny on my streams. That that went like whoosh right over here, and it's still it's like I'm running it through my mon, on my mind. It's like whoosh 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 whoosh. But I got my body back. I wouldn't have uh, like I was very immobile. But part of that was is once I realized it was just pain, and like I, I got to go ahead to even exercise and do whatever I could. But once it was just pain, it was like, okay, I can move through pain, right? Like it's not like before when I was worried it was actually, a, so, uh, it was actually a tear. I like, as soon as the pain, I would just lock up and I'd be like, like, I, I can't like, don't, don't rip my muscle off my bone. Don't rip, don't rip, like just sit there and just take it. And now it's just like, okay, it's just pain. It's very, very painful, but it doesn't matter. 
So you feel bad mentioning a giant tiny on there. Oh, it's getting hot. I've, uh, it's been a while, like, I haven't been streaming, and I forgot what it, what it feels like to sweat when I work out. Oh, you're talking, uh, the water bottle stuff. I was thinking, like, I, I don't know what I was thinking, but my, my mind went a bunch of random, like, fairy tale places. Okay, I gotta be careful. I can still feel my neck a little bit doing that. I still have to remember, I have to remember to be more cognizant of what's going on around here. Hmm. So since my injury, all I've really been doing is leg days. Uh, and I've been doing like cable flies and rows. But the cable flies and rows, I haven't been going too heavy. Yeah, I've gone a little bit softer, got a little bit more fat down here, but uh, that's that's more my own laziness. Over the last three weeks, normally I get injured, I will spend more time on my diet. This time I picked up uh, a video game, which started to borderline ruin, ruin my life. It's called Don't Starve. I was pl I, I did a stream for it just a couple days ago, and uh, I showed off what I what I what I spent my last 100 hours on a video game doing. It's been a while since I've spent 100 hours on a video game, like specifically. Well, one thing about being weird, being weird goes. A lot further in smaller doses. That's just my experience in general, right? Like myself, I like to, I like to dance. I like to, I like to be a little bit silly sometimes. And at at, at the office, I've been there for over a decade now, and I, I'll I'll be. Uh, like I'll, I'll, I'll be silly sometimes, but I don't want to be like, oh, this is this guy. He's just weird. And I had that happen at a point where I got, I got introduced as the weird guy. And I, I'm just like, okay. It, was, it wasn't by somebody that I knew well, but uh, I was like, okay, maybe I should... Okay, I'm gonna get the fan on here with it. I swear that heat must be on or something. I, I can feel heat coming at me from somewhere. All right. He's got Stardew Valley. And you're hooked on Pokemon Legends. Well, I got Stardew Valley. When I go the left side, I'm feeling where in my in my traps where I'm not supposed to feel it. But uh, anyways, I got Stardew Valley. I, I did a couple streams. It's problem is that game just was sucking up so much time, and I put it down for now. But uh, those type of games, like the world builder games, 
I play the games to, uh, like, I want to get everything, I want 100% it, and I want to do it with the least amount of headache as possible, but I have no eye for the aesthetics at all, right? My, my everything I build is for how do I get, how I get from, I am here, I want to have access to everything, and I want to do it in the minimal amount of traveling, and I want to maximize my output for every time I go. And then me, but then, so I, 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 I spent all these hours on it and I have something that I've, I'm pretty proud of. It looks like crap <laughs> every time, even, uh, even don't starve. Okay. It's, it's don't starve. It's just like Stardew Valley, except, except everything in the game kills you. So, uh, I like don't starve better than, than Stardew Valley. And so there's actually two games. Don't Starve was the base game that I got for the Wii U um, like 10 years ago. And I was probably the only person in the world who actually played the game on the Wii U. Like probably not, but probably. And the instruction manual was one paragraph that basically said, um, figure, it out, figure it out yourself, stupid. You're going to die. Uh, get like get good, and I, I'm like, okay, that that you you got my curiosity, and you play through the game, you die once, it erases your save, and um, like every night you have to have uh, you have to you need light, otherwise the creature in the darkness will kill you in like three seconds. Um, you're starving, you're constantly going insane, and it's, you don't have a, like, and you get hit. It's uh, sometimes a little bit hard to restore your health. And uh, aside from that, it's it's got more into it than Stardew Valley does. There are wikias and wikias. And I played Reign of Giants, which is the Wii U version, which is the like the upgraded version of Don't Starve that, that originally came out in the beta. And the game was so popular that they wanted to make it co-op, but they couldn't take the original game and make it co-op. It was easier just to remake an entire new game and, ma and, and make it play like the original. So now they have two games running side by side. One of them is a solo player only. One of them is either a solo player or a co-op. Uh, where you can have up to like 12 people playing on the same server. Um, and you can change, you can customize all the rules of the game. You can make it as easy or as hard as you want. Um, they encourage community involvement, even up to the point that they have, like they have a workshop where they allow uh, people to make mods that you can bring into their game uh, with their blessing, and, uh, and 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 so there's a lot that you can do with that. I haven't heard of either of those games, Infernax and Triangle Strategy. I'll check them out later. Alright, so, I think I'm going to try some push-ups right now. I might have some difficulty. We'll see how it goes. I haven't done any pushing since my pinched nerve. I'll start light. That wasn't so bad. I'm gonna warm up my wrist first. My legs are do are doing great though. I've uh, 
My legs are getting bigger. They're getting stronger. I'm starting to get used to wearing the belt. Um, funny story, I was using the belt last night and uh, I, I went up to uh, 335, I believe, for a set of two. And I worked my way up there and I did, I did that twice. So I did two sets of 335. And then I dropped down to 225 and I started repping them out. So at 225, like I was doing squats, like ass the grass and, and, and I'd pause at the bottom and then I'd push up, come down, pause at the bottom, push up, no momentum. I was, I was doing that with uh, 335 too, but I, I went till near failure on 225 and what, what stopped me was a lack of oxygen. I started running out of, out of oxygen. Uh, just couldn't keep up with my, my, my supply couldn't keep up with my demand. And I finished my set, put the weights down, go to, go to get the belt off me. The end of the thing wouldn't come off. Like it was like, it, like I keep it pretty tight, but I couldn't get it off. And I was like, I gotta like suck in my gut, hold my breath, just enough to get enough room to let it out. And I couldn't do it. So I stopped. And I'm, I, meanwhile, I'm really lacking oxygen, so I'm like, like I, I'm breathing as fast as I can. Okay, I can't get it off. And then, so after like three tries, I was, I was like almost, like, claustrophobic. Like there's a little bit of, uh, like, oh my god, like, ah. And so I finally got it off. I, I actually threw the thing. Um, I was at the gyms, but I had there's uh, the squat rack. And there's a mirror in front of the squat rack, and it's sort of in a box. I, like I just tossed it in there, but I was I was down. I, went, I just went down and grabbed something, and just was like, man, I was about to freak out there. I never, never had that freak out. Oh, I'm, I'm kindly with or without flab. Um, muscle has the same consist consistency as fat when it's relaxed. But uh, with, uh, with uh, the world being in lockdown here, um, a lot less, well, actually, there's been, I, I've basically been avoiding people for two years now, when I used to be a little social butterfly. Yeah, for myself, right now, with regards to my body, all that I really care about, like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be healthy regardless. So, health number one, but that's a given, so we'll forget about that. All I really care about, I want my legs to get bigger and stronger. Right, like, like my, my back and my chest and my bicep, like, like all this stuff is going to be easy to maintain uh, I might not grow as much um, over the next six months uh, for my upper body, but I should have an easy time maintaining what I have. But I want my legs to get thicker. Uh, like I, I want to say, I wanted to say bigger and thicker, and I started to combine those two words into one at the same time, right there. Um, Well, my hands are nasty. So I took two weeks, a little bit more than two weeks uh, off for most of the, most of my exercise. And I didn't realize I had calluses on the, on my fingers, but the, but the tips of every finger peeled off. 
I, I was showing it on camera earlier, but it doesn't really pick it up very well. I I can sort of see it. Yeah, so they, they all just peeled off. And it was, yeah. They're all scraggly. All right, so I didn't really have much of a plan tonight. It was just um, I got home too late to go to the gym. Uh, it was uh, it was a long day. It was it was a twelve hour work day. Mike Woods, how's it going? I'm uh. I'm back, I like to say. Um, I had a pinched nerve in my neck. Um, I don't remember exactly how long it happened ago, like two and a half, like three weeks ago, maybe, like two and a half, two and a half weeks. Um, took it easy for a while. I started playing uh, a video game called Don't Starve. Sucked up like a hundred hours of my life and, uh, I start, and interfered with my diet a little bit. But uh, um, getting back into the swing of things, yeah, I, uh, I I've still been doing leg days, but yesterday was my first heavy leg day. So since November, I've been doing leg days every Wednesday and every Sunday, twice a twice a week since like since November and uh, it like it got interesting when I had my pinched nerve because there I was very limited limited in what I could do but uh, I, w I was squatting yesterday up to 335 pounds it felt it felt good um, I've, I've been getting used to wearing a belt I've never like I've I've been stronger than I am now when I was like I, I was younger too but uh, I did all my lifting without the belt and I found what helped with getting used to wearing the belt is to follow the exact same setup every time I get to the bar I get to the bar exact same thing every time and uh, like like right from where I I get the belt on I brace how I get under the bar, how I lift off, how I take three steps, like st step back, step back, and then step to the side, just just a little bit, and I'll, I'll like right right where I right where right, right where I need to be, and then uh, breathe, brace, and then uh, thought thought I met a Banda. How's it going? I got. Uh, all the regulars coming by here. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm back. I'm a little bit a little bit more pudgier than I was last time you guys saw me. Pinched nerve in my neck, but uh, my nerve is doing like isn't acting up so much. But my neck is still a little bit aggravated, which it's it's nice being able to actually feel feel the injury instead of the pinched nerve. Um. Yeah, I've I've been feeling like I've been I've been neglecting neglecting you guys. Haven't been uh, streaming. 
even when I have been working out. Glad, glad to hear you're doing well. All the dogs, your pets hitting your back. Yeah, yeah. you get dogs will, uh, especially with different types of breeds, are the breed dependent, but uh, they, they, they just love you and they just want, uh, but they want their like little children who need your attention all, who want your attention all the time. I've read some interesting studies on what goes on physically and chemically in a dog's brain when interacting with their favorite humans. Yeah, there's like even even the, the breeding curls isn't easy for me. I'm feeling it right right here. So I'm gonna have to think out my next workout a little bit better. I'm gonna have to think of exercises I can do on stream. Yeah, thanks for coming by, Mike Woods. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just do more stretching streams. That that's uh, I since I've been spending every Wednesday and Sunday being leg days, it's been taking a lot of energy out of me. And I've been stretching less, so I should stretch more, and that would be the perfect opportunity to, to check in, say hi. I got a little uh, 1970s type song playing right now. All right, 1980s. We got little lasers in it. Yeah, your dogs can be like uh, your typical three-year-old. All right. I'll do chair dips. Yeah, today was a long day, and I, I find the cold uh, saps the energy out of me. And it was uh, there was a blizzard later in the later in the day, so it started off. It was just like this morning. It was really cold, like it was minus thirty. And then it uh, cooled off to, or warmed up to minus 20. But then uh, all was well until it started to, to blizzard on me. All right. Yeah. Take care of your pets. So like even this isn't really my neck's bugging me. I'm gonna have to think of my like when I've been going to the gym, I'm able to. I've, I've been using more machines and I have things that are able to. Like I, I've been doing the only free weights I've been doing is with is with my legs. I gotta be I gotta be careful with what's going on up here.
Maybe I could do these bicep curls without aggravating my neck. Actually, this is this is better. Got a little bit more support. Hungry soup. Uh, my nutrition, I am well. I've got I've I've got too many uh, too much nutrition in me right now. I've been uh, eating well, just a lot, and since I've been less active, um, normally when I get in, like if something goes on, if I'm sick or something, I will spend more time on my diet. Um, this time, I let myself just. Uh, um, relax. Like I, I let I, I let myself uh, eat whatever I wanted, and even what, but what, what I want is still meat, vegetables, and and rice, and but uh, um, it's just uh, I've been eating more, moving less. I'm a little bit uh, pudgier than I was three weeks ago, but. That doesn't worry about doesn't worry me so much because uh, all I care about is making these legs bigger and stronger. I don't know if you can see on the that's but uh, hungry soup. How's it going? Your name is uh, I don't think I've ever had anyone with a great name before. I find it funny how it. Uh, change the color of your name on my chat. Yeah, I'm having a hard time stabilizing my neck. Yeah, it was really, it was really frustrating because there was this young kid. Okay, so I was, I was benching, I was benching something over 300 pounds, um, did a set of eight, went to re-rack it with uh, this young guy um, just walks by and, and smacks the bar on the, on my left side. And so I re, I re-racked the right side, left side didn't, I caught it, I put, and I, I extended this way to re-rack it. Um, and then I was injured and I was, I, I was, and he did this right in front of the fitness staff and one, my gym is sectioned off, is like spaced apart. So there's no reason for anybody to come near me. And he was like, this guy here, this, this, this young guy was on, I say, I say young, he's like 18 to 20. Um, he was on a bench press that was like 30 feet away from me. And he had done like three sets in 30 minutes. And he would, he would do a set and he'd go walk away and he'd go, uh, like he'd go, uh, he was standing around with another group of people. And then you come back like 10 minutes later. Well, actually, I think he did like two of his sets in the first like five minutes. And then he went away for uh, like 20 minutes, came back, did a set, left for another 10 minutes. And uh, so he's coming back, smacks it. And then when uh, like, I'm like, 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 we're like, well, why'd you do that? Like what, like he, like he was looking, like he was, he was looking through us. Like he had, like he was like, almost like there was nothing. Like he was, he was just, very entitled, but he was just like like going around, like just walking around the gym like this, like like the, like the, like I, I understand having the lat, your arms bounce off your lats. Um, I've been so big before where I couldn't get my elbows, like if I want to get my elbows into my, into my waist, I got to bring them in front of my lats and then in. But like I, I've I've been bouncing off here before, but he was walking around. He's like, like he's uh he's just, like just really skinny, walking around like this and. Like he just wanted uh, people to look at him and the fitness staff kicked him out of the gym because they saw what he did. And then they, they were just, and he, like, he didn't, he didn't say a word. He just, he just stood there, stared at us uh, as we talked to him and then he just left. So, but I was, I was like instantly, it was like, that was stupid, but I'm hurt. Did I see your Instagram post? 
Both. All right. So you, I'll, I'll, I'll do this in order. Um, you need some advice for your physique as you're 225. Well, hungry soup. Part of it is how you look right now, right? And, and how you want to look and, and what you're comfortable with as well as staying healthy. Like, like all this is down here, stay healthy is up here. Um, you want to lose fat, but you want to stay the same. All right. So that that's what you're asking for. You want to, uh, basically like at least keep what you have while becoming a little thinner, uh, maintain your muscle mass. You want to maintain your muscle mass. You got to keep lifting weights, keep using your muscles. And then you don't want to do a large cut. If you do a large cut, um, you're going to lose every, like your body's, your, your body's going to turn anything it can, uh, into calories and that'll be, it'll turn your fat stores into energy and it'll, it'll, it'll take your muscle tissue, turn that into energy, uh, that you're, uh, that, that you're not, uh, that you're not getting. So I think you need the, the long game where whatever, like first I would recommend finding out how much calories you're actually consuming day by day over a week, over a couple weeks, and then just reduce it by 100 to 200 calories a day. Um, and if you don't, and then keep exercising, and if you're not seeing the results you want, reduce it by another 100 calories. And then if you're, and then over a couple weeks, you're not seeing what you want, reduce it by another 100 calories. And eventually that will work. And you're going to, uh, be able to keep it at a manageable level where the uh, energy deficit should come primarily from your fat stores. You're not going to be able to choose where that fat, like what fat storage is deplete, but with a specific, like with certain amounts of muscle mass compared to body fat percentage, you can expect to uh look a certain way all right so and banda i didn't see your instagram post maybe uh maybe send it to me i'll take a look at it yeah yeah one and a half pounds a week is a lot so and and and, and that's uh the more, say, fat, the more body fat you have to lose, the higher capability you're going to have of being able to lose more weight quicker. Um, but that one and a half pounds depends on how much of a percentage of your body fat is that. Um, and so somebody who's uh, a lower body fat percentage for them to lose 1% of their body fat um, would be a lower number, or say, say to lose a certain percentage of body fat a week would be a smaller number than somebody who, than say you, if you have a higher body fat percentage. Um, and so losing the same amount of percentage of your body fat in a week would just be a, a larger number, but you might, you, you, you'd sort of be expected to, to suffer the same. But uh, I believe the number is for every, for every 500 calories that you're in a deficit a day, over seven days, you're expected to burn about one pound of body fat. And there's how much you eat. There's also how much you move. So if you're doing a lot of, Cardio, cardio will, uh, like cardio is much more effective for burning fat than weightlifting. 
This feels almost foreign to me. Because it all comes down to calories in versus calories out. And calories in are actually very hard to calculate. They're a lot harder than you think it is, particularly when you're, you're eating a lot of whole foods. Um, you, you'll often have to, like, you, you'll weigh your foods, but they're still based off of estimates and, uh, like, the average value of, like, a chicken breast. Um, and then you get your, your, your product labels. Your product labels often just straight up lie to you. And if you do the math yourself, you, you'll, you'll find discrepancies. Um, yeah, I, you can do that. I've, uh, got, and I, I, I made a discord almost exclusively for that purpose. I had uh, some people ask me questions when I first started out and, uh, that's, uh, what I, uh, what, what, uh, the media we end up using. If, if, if I don't have a reason to actually go on discord, I might not go on there for like three months. Um, not sure what my discord number actually is. Uh, I'm Lord Adman across the board basically. Um, but even then, if you like, if you want a personal trainer for you, like any reputable personal trainer is going to need like, like quite a bit of information. Um, so like for myself, if I would expect like, like pictures of, uh, like just like what you look like, of uh, like flexed, unflexed. Um, cause like you can flex and you can sort of hide things. Um, but then it's also like, you want to, someone to put together a diet plan for you. Okay. So what do you enjoy eating? Right? Like, like what, uh, um, and a lot of, a lot of the first, the, 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 the first amount of time you spend with a personal trainer, they're going to be figuring out like, like how much you actually eat, like what is going on here? Um, and if I give you a plan. Like, like, how is this plan? Like, like, how is these calories going to affect you? Like, like how, 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 how well are you going to follow this plan? And, and I, I'm, I, I can tell I'm tired right now, 12 hour workday uh, outside and here I am, but, um, um, but yeah, like, like I, I, I would tend to like overstream. I tend to give more general advice where you can't go wrong with it as opposed to like some, some of the, like, like you want to like for a specific, like weightlifting plan, it's like, I could put together something, but, um, it's not, it's not like, like you really need to work with somebody and in order to get a tailored plan towards them. And there's certain things where what might work for somebody might not work for another, or if it's uh, like someone's like, why do I have this back pain? Right? It's like, I don't want to diagnose somebody's back pain all over the internet. When uh, uh, go go to go to a physio go to a physiotherapist, get a proper diagnosis. Yeah, I I still haven't said okay so. I'm going to close this, open up Discord for the first time in a while, and I believe if I hit that button, it copies it. There we go. Yeah, I, I, I had a, I explained this to somebody recently in person at the gym because he wanted to ask, like he's just asking me a bunch of questions and and uh but uh I, I spent a good amount of time thinking about it uh before and after because i saw him a couple times over the next couple days but whoops but right now i'm i'm honestly very tired um
Now what can I do? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do shoulder stuff. I'm gonna try uh I know what I'm gonna do. Uh, calories in versus calories out always works, but the uh, equation is more complicated than anybody can ever figure out. Well, see, 2,200 calories, like it, it really depends on how active you are as well, right? So how much you eat is only one part of the equation. How much are you moving your body? How much uh, mass are you moving around a day? Like, like what, what are you doing for work? What's, uh... and then, also, equally as importantly, what type of results are you getting off that amount of calories per day? How consistent are you with those calories per day? How accurately are you actually measuring those 2,200 calories a day? Right, because uh, if you're not weighing all your food, like even when you're weighing all your food, it is almost impossible to get within 200, well, not almost impossible, but it's like really damn hard. Yeah, I'll, I'll say it borderline, like it's borderline uh, impossible to get like like with, with within exactly like 100 calories of what you're actually eating every day. Even with weighing everything, it's uh, like even how you weigh it, right? So you get two different cup measurements. They're not, like, depending on who makes it, they're not going to be exactly the same. And then you get uh, the box that says this amount of, like per cup is this amount of calories. Well, what type of, what type of instrument do they use for weighing, a, for measuring a cup? Yeah. And the thing is, is uh, the heavier you are, you're taking 15, is that 15,000 steps a day? You're not like, that's more, like, like that's twice as much energy burnt as somebody who weighs half your weight. Right, so somebody who weighs like 110 pounds, you're gonna burn twice as many calories. So like somebody who's like 300 plus pounds, like the best exercise that they can do, actually the best thing they can do for, for increasing their health, just go for regular walks, right? Anything else is going to be too, it's going to be too difficult. All right. Thanks for coming by, Mr. Banda.
do some uh Got a little bit of a scrap going on right here. I'm feeling very soft today. Actually, I've been feeling like my upper body's feeling just soft. My legs feel uh, my legs feel good though. Honestly, I got to do it again tomorrow. I got another long work day outside. And uh, I, didn't, I wasn't able to start streaming for a good amount of time. I'm going to pre... So, in a couple of minutes, if this woman is still on, I'm going to send all these viewers to her. It's, I might be doing a bait and switch on you guys as uh, she doesn't do fitness, but um, I, she does, uh, well, she doesn't do it on stream, but she has been professionally trained for dance. And I ended up uh, going to her stream one time because the title is something along the lines of dance. And I'm like, oh, dance discussion. I'm, uh, I'm down. And I haven't really been uh, watching Twitch as well these days either. So, uh, Yeah, I've only got one person uh, I'm following online right now. <sighs> All right, so. I will, I got, two Discord friend notifications. I don't, I don't see you there, Hungry Soup, though.
Oh, my hair is so flat. I got hard hat hair. Oh, that actually, my neck didn't like that. Uh, I don't even want to flex my back right now, but I'm going to send you guys this way. She's good people. Send on the, if there was somebody I was following who is fitness related right now, I'd send you to them, but. All right. Well, thank you everybody who came and join me today. Hungry Soup, send me that uh, thing on Discord and I'll uh, get, to, well, tomorrow's gonna be a busy day, but uh, tomorrow evening I'll get around to looking at it. Have a good night, everybody. I'm back. I'm a little bit slow with what I'm doing right now, but I think I, I've got to commit, uh, even if it's stretching streams. I'm thinking stretching streams a couple times a week would be doable. I just got to commit to sit down and do them. All right. Bye, everybody.